Hey everybody, Will Tompkins here, Tom Cruise Studios, Live Music in Austin, bringing you another episode, episode number eight of Three Beers and a Whiskey, featuring Ben Davis and Anthony Stevenson from Come and Take It Live, located on Riverside Drive in Austin, Texas. Here's beer number two. Here's, here's what happened yeah. while we're talking. So, uh, um, Anthony actually plays drums. You know, so not only do they own a music venue here in Austin and uh, support the, the local scene and the live music vibrance, of, but Anthony plays drums. What's the name of the band? Uh, Critical Assembly. Critical Assembly. And uh, so, yeah, there's a, <coughs> our owner there killing it on uh, drums uh, at Empire. It was inside Empire during the Independence Fest. Oh, yeah, yeah. That was, okay. I was trying to remember when I played Empire. I played so much so often, I can't even remember where I was at. That's right. Yeah, yeah so it was the Texas Independence Fest. And, uh, yeah, there's... Those ugly sons of bitches, man. Yeah, no, I mean, of course, you know, that's a great shot of the drummer, too. Yeah. Yeah, he's just <laughs> epic, you know, where you can see the drummer there. As I've, as I've seen uh, him perform in different bands and, and uh, ran sound for them, I've never actually uh, paid attention to his facial expressions until recently. <laughs> and it's, it's one of my favorite things to do now. Is, <laughs> is, is watch <clears throat> stare at Anthony playing the drums and look at his <laughs> yeah. expressions. That's funny. Uh, Critical Assembly, badass metal band here in Austin. Um, although, it's, when's the last time y'all played <laughs> like uh, Saturday? Um, no, what? Yeah. Wait, wait, where at? December. Uh, Toys for Tots at Dirty Dog. Oh, okay. Yeah. You know, in fact, yeah, I had. But we'll be we'll be playing. Yeah, at the venue in March. Um, free South by kind of stuff. Or yeah. Or, yeah. Free okay. South cool. By, uh, Badass. It's a band uh, from Texas originally, within Chaos, is doing uh, an awesome reunion show, and uh, we'll be supporting those guys. We'll be Sweet. Show. That's yeah. good. So you automatically think, oh. Well, this is their type of music, and you actually have more of a. What would you say is your your personal preference on man on, on music and listening or musically? I'm all over the place. Uh, I, I, you could not control. I still have an iPod. Sorry, people, but uh, it plugs into the radio on my truck, and then and it's a uh, it's all over the place. Uh, a lot of jazz, a lot of local, old school Austin stuff. Uh, some of our friends we you know come I didn't know them at the time and became friends with them and ended up working yeah. with them some of the times the AD Obi Bobby Bookout Bobby yeah <clears throat> um, all that kind of stuff some old school like kind of underground rock uh, I admittedly and I've been made fun of for this for years I was I had an interview with the Austin Chronicle I don't know how many years ago and I still hear shit about it because I said something to the effect of I'm not that metal of a guy so I might as well stick with it. <laughs> uh, I mean, I've just been beat up about it, but I, uh, I, I'm, I'm not technically that much of a metal guy. I don't, I don't, uh, I, it's really cool. I've gotten more into it for sure, because uh, the XM radio thing, there's a lot of the bands that come through and play our stage uh, that are on the, the XM metal stations. Yeah. Like Liquid Metal yeah, and whatever, whatever else. And that. so it's really cool to hear that. Uh, and, oh, we just had those guys. They were here last night or whatever. So, and not to mention that some of the bands that have come through uh, are the diversity of, of I guess, sub-genres of the metal community. Holy crap, that's uh, so crazy. You know, to, metal to me back then when I made my claim is I'm not that metal of a guy, was just, you know. <laughs> <laughs> that was pretty good. Can you do that again? Yeah, I mean, I'm all metal. But, uh, <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. but uh, there's just somebody out there going, oh my god, that's the name of our favorite yeah. song. <laughs> I'm not that metal of a guy. <laughs> But uh, I, I started listening to it more and uh, paying attention more, and, uh, and well, I was forced to. It, it just kept coming in, right? Yeah. yeah. And, uh, and I've, I've gotten to be a pretty big fan of, of some of the bands that continue to come back, uh, repeat bands, and some that just pop through once, and like, okay, that was pretty badass. Well, yeah. Uh, not that I had anything against any metal at all towards anyone. It's just that was not what I was uh, accustomed to listening to and not what I my background, so to speak, was. Right, right. Another question off the internet? Yeah, I have another question. So along the lines of what you were talking about right now, so if someone uh, has never been to come and take it, uh, what Ooh. should they expect if they've never been to your club? So do you all serve beer, liquor, is there food? How about pool tables? Can anyone smoke outdoors? All those 
those things. All those things. Yeah. Yeah. You got it all. Uh, check, 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 check. Uh, yeah. Obviously, beer. Uh, we don't have a draft system. We're talking about maybe putting one in. Uh, draft system, obviously, liquor. Uh, we do oh, have some. Wait, wait, wait. I never realized that until you said right now. Yeah. You don't have a draft system. It's, uh, it's not, it's just, it's just not, it's a fairly expensive thing to install, first off, the uh-huh. front loss is high. Uh, maintain is relatively expensive and it's a big space consumption. Uh, it was kind of by design. Uh, I personally, from my bar management experience, I do not like draft in the setting that we have because they can serve five to seven, ten can package beer sure. in a time that takes them to pour one draft. And when you have shows that last three or four hours, just go. Like, yeah. you don't have time. And I would assume it's probably, this may be way farther down the line of the thought process, but it seems like that would be a lot less messy. Ultimately, you don't have people with, like, the... The plastic cups everywhere. And just, the the plastic just cups are one thing. You don't really want to serve draft beer in a plastic cup. Uh, that's oh, not very good. And have the glass. And so, can you imagine how many pine glasses we clean up at the end of a metal show? And we drink in and, and walk out. out. So, yeah. yeah, but that's that's super funny and ironic to think yeah. about. Like, as many times as I've been in y'all's place, I I realize now, holy We can ask for it a whole bunch, but there's a logical reason behind No, I mean, and it, I, like, I never would. And, and to yeah. answer the rest of your we do have some pool tables. Uh, oh, yeah. we, okay. do have a, we do have Hoax Pizza uh, out on the patio. Yes. And yes, we can smoke on the patio. Smoke legal things, that is. We had a problem with that once before. Uh, you can smoke cigarettes or vapes. Legal vapes, that is. <laughs> <laughs> There's way too many hashtags. Yeah. Just clean murder, bastards on that, whatever. If you don't break the law, you're good to go. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, oh, oh. I have another question. Okay. Yes. So, um, you guys seem like really cool guys. Uh, oh, thank God they're not are, assholes. Are you guys uh, hiring, or what's the hiring process? Oh, yeah, okay. Um, Who do you hire? Well, is there any opening production side? Mm. I kind of well, I mean, kind of sort of. I guess kind of open ended. Always down to look at at uh, new folks that are available and interested uh, to do what their skills are, loading and running and marketing and stuff like that. Um, not really looking for any certain mm-hmm. position, so to speak, but but the same info at coming ticket. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, and on the bar side of things, uh, of course, we we hope to not have any kind of issues in the future, but. Uh, something that's like you had said earlier a lot of the guys came with us mm-hmm. from Dirty Dog uh, it's a pretty large family that we have down there and most of those guys have worked with or uh, with or for us for a good long time and uh, it, it I hope they're not gonna use this to their advantage but it takes a lot of fuck up for them for them to just disappear uh, and most of the people once they get in there they're pretty happy and want to stick around so well that's not saying that there's not availability but uh, uh, not immediately. Uh, oh, well, you know, but see, it's funny as you say, the not availability. Wednesday night, I'm in there for the show, and there were, I was sh- really surprised at how many new faces I saw behind the bar. Downstairs, two new faces. Upstairs, I saw a new face behind the bar. Um, and the diversity of, of the the staff, um, <laughs> that was, I, no- I noticed that. Don't know how or why, but all of a sudden I was like, there's a bunch of chicks working behind the bar. Wow! <laughs> uh, I mean, uh, along the, the new faces for sure to you, but uh, they're they're old faces to us. They yeah. they're not full time employees. Uh, they're they come in when they're they're family friends, friends and because they come in and bust their ass when they when they we have shows. When you have a full yeah. packed house and, and okay. Sorry, we're What's so the, slammed on Wednesday. We what is it called? Over a friend from the, the venue that, that you kind of sort of yeah, yeah, was, yeah. come and help out. What, uh, yeah. What's the capacity? We try not to sell more than 800, uh, depending on the event. And that's, okay. It, it, it's it's, it's sellable more capacity. It's, it's higher than that. Right. Which, okay, when we we, we, we stock it <clears throat> a lot less because we know we're going to have extra staff. I think we had 12 person staff, 13 yeah. person staff that night. Uh, and God knows how many band, crew, merch. Oh, blah, 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 okay. Blah, 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 so blah. you had a capacity of 800 guests. Right. That's what and we And then you have, yeah. So there's a, a little margin there for, for those, and, those kinds of you know, spaces and, for drums and guitar rigs and, and the, things like you know, that. So besides that little balcony area, the, what is it, 1836 Lounge or what the hell is it called? The little box? No, outside there's a... 
Uh, yeah, yeah, we call that the whole that's up exactly the level of yeah. stairs. Um, and it was it was not packed at all. It, you know, you get two know, rows of people yeah. that are up against the ledge. Man, you may be surprised how many people walk out of the show and just start talking whatever. We chat with them. And we're like, oh yeah, I was upstairs. We're like, there's an upstairs. I'm like, how did you not see me? <laughs> there's, a, you know, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, what I did notice that night, and I, I, I've never noticed before, like not having taps. Um, but it was, I thought it was really fucking cool. Y'all have closed circuit. Y'all have cameras inside. Mm-hmm. It, I didn't know. And I'm upstairs. I'm hanging out with Price. What up, Price? You're working, so I know you're not. Is he on? Now, shout out to Bobby Bookout. You just started watching. Oh, hey, Bobby! Bobby Bookout! Hey, you gonna come over here and play guitar? See? Come on, Bobby. <laughs> uh, yeah, we'll talk about that here in a minute. All right. Um, but anyway, so I'm upstairs. I'm hanging out with Price, and I look over, and there's one TV that's playing, like, I don't know, basketball game or child. Yeah, or whatever. Bullshit. And the other TV, I'm looking at it, and I'm like, what the fuck? And I look down. That was... I obviously don't have the capability of doing it. That was awesome. To be able to be like, I can't see, I, I'm not a big guy. I said, well, okay. We got you. I'm not a tall guy. Um, so, <laughs> so unless I'm like inside the barricade with a badge on the rare occasion of a barricade, yeah. Otherwise, I'm enjoying the show by listening to music um, and chatting with whoever. And I look up and I saw the TV and I was like, this is fucking cool, man. It was nice to be able to see that angle. So it's not a, it's not necessarily a new thing, but it's a it's an infant stage thing. It's something we've talked about trying to expand. Um, I like possibly it. you got dude. Possibly uh, out on the patio, possibly a live stream, possibly blah 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 blah. So it's kind of a infant trial run, uh, that one TV upstairs because there's not a ton of visibility in the saloon. Right. Um, no, it's either you're up against that rail or you don't see it. That's or the little balcony area. Yeah. Uh, but that gives you a chance to still be a part of the show. It's a little quieter up there too, mm. uh, and you can still see the show with all the lights and and whatnot going on. Uh, I, so. I, I liked it. I thought it was great. Uh, so you got my stamp on that, dude. That you guys, Thank you, you know, look into how you can flesh that out. Something more coming out from the internet. Well, I just want to say, uh, Bobby Bookout says. Hey, sweethearts. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so. Uh, but before we oh, go on to that, ahead. so hi, Bobby Bookout. Hi. Uh, so where do people get merch for Come and Take It Live? At the venues. Yeah, At the venues. Available now. Online? Not yet. Okay. Not yet. Possibly in the future. There has not been, sadly, a uh, very high oh, demand oh. For, uh, for merch just yet. Uh, but uh, it is available. With, in fact, yeah, yeah. yeah I brought you some gifts, buddy. Do it. There you go. There's a hat and a couple of shirts for you. Oh, very good. Thank you. Hopefully see, the right is, size. You mentioned that you're not a big yeah, man, yeah. so we'll see. Uh, right. <laughs> see, now when I come to the show and I'm going to shoot photos, I'm asking more questions. Uh, about yeah. where the is. Where's the bathroom at? You know, uh, oh, the bathrooms that come and take it live. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, man. Dude, this is awesome. Thank you. And uh, but the, <laughs> that is, that is maybe, uh, ask anybody on staff. Yeah. <laughs> that is funny. Yeah. Thank you very much for tuning in to that episode of Three Beers and a Whiskey featuring Ben Davis and Anthony Stevenson from Come and Take It Live. Uh, appreciate y'all. Make sure you hit the subscribe button, little bell notification to come back, and make sure you catch future videos from Three Beers and a Whiskey. Y'all have a good night.